All right. So, before we start, um, time to kick it up with the new tradition, I guess. You know, let's kick it up. <clears throat> you know, that song, while I'm waiting for my YouTube page to load so I can read the comments, um, that song, Let's Kick It Up, I feel like the best use of that was in the Digimon movie, and then they could never replicate it in the show. Like, they never made it seem as epic. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Um, so welcome to part six, he says, as he's looking at his YouTube page to make sure the last part was indeed five, because that's how numbers work. Um, so, I said, if anybody donated, I would talk about it in the beginning of the video. And that's what I'm going to do right now, as soon as these messages load. Oh, come on, internet. How did you know I was recording? How did you know to be this slow right now? Okay. So, I've had two donations since I launched fan funding. Um, and I found out who that first one was in the last part. Uh, his name is Ty Teller. T-Y-T-E-L-R. Um, and both of the people who donated, both of them said, you know, you don't have to, you know, announce me at the beginning of the next video. All, you know, all we want you to do is just thank, thank you for the content and, you know, just keep going forward. But I would feel wrong if I didn't acknowledge these two. So, Ty Teller was the one who gave the $10 donation. Literally, as soon as I turned it on, turned it on he was the first donation. Um, and I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for being the first one, for be being the one to take the plunge. Um, it's not, again, not required, but god damn, does it feel good um, for someone to say they like your content that much, that they're willing to, you know, spend their own money. The second donation, and I'm not kidding here, um, I could not wait to talk about this because I want, I don't know if I could express this in message to thank you properly. Um, the second donation was for $50 and when I saw that amount, I quickly ran upstairs just grinning ear to ear and just wanted to tell my dad, dad, I, someone donated $50 to my YouTube channel. And that was by John Bart. Oh God, I can never read your name right. John Barnett Animation, uh, formerly known as Apollo Arrow. I could not believe that he donated that much. Um, John, I know you've been with me since the beginning. Like, just because this is special, because to me this is like the biggest donation so far. Um, John subscribed about nine days after I started my YouTube channel. He subscribed right after that first video. You can find his comment on the very first Reddit post. And uh, the very last thing that he says on his message is, you can name me if you like, but the best way to thank me is to keep being a content creator. John, I had tears in my eyes. Like, my eyes were welling up when I read this comment. I've never felt so good as to hear something like that. And I really want to thank you. And I want to thank everyone for continuing to watch me, for continuing to stick with me through all of the, you know, you know crap I've had to deal with over the... Uh, YouTube history over like the six months monetization the copyright strike all of you who stood by me stuck stuck together We made it here. We're now playing the newest Digimon game Thank you. I honestly from the bottom of my heart. I really mean it now. Let's start the part John Barnett uh, Animation Ty Teller if they're in the comments. Thank you very much. Uh, I love you both. Okay um, Let's I don't remember what I was doing because I, I almost beat the game um, in my other fire. Okay, what am I doing here? Okay, so same stats. All right, so what I'm gonna do? Oh, actually, why is he wearing the graduate cap? I don't like that at all. So I'm gonna store the data. Uh, what I'm gonna do real quick is I want to do the Sora fight because it unlocks Garudamon, and I think any fight. So, oh, I'm trying to. I'm talking over myself. So. If you summon the data of the Digimon you just store, what it does is it'll let you use that Digimon, but you'll notice in the top left the timer isn't going off. It's not going to ask you for food and everything like that. Um, basically meaning you can kind of play here as long as you need to. So I recommend if you're going to be in the tower with the Digimon you're using, so like if you're not using like the memory of someone, that you store them and then summon them because you can save some precious time. Uh, always look for this dude, because he'll give you items whenever, uh, um, 
you get to a next floor. Okay, so I'm gonna go back down to floor uh, one. We're gonna fight Sora. Um, you know, she's had her fill dealing with Heartless, but she's taken time out of her busy schedule to come battle us in the Coliseum. So I feel like it's only right with that we oblige her. Um, so see, even though we're using our main partner, she'll show us the blocks as if you're using summon data, which I think is pretty neat. Um, Alright, so you want to go free battle. I think after you beat her, yeah, Sora and Hyomon's love. So if we beat Tai Chi and Agumon, yeah, okay, we beat Greymon, so that means we unlocked Greymon. Did I really beat Greymon? I don't remember doing it at all. Um, this one, okay, yeah, alright, go for it. I actually don't know how strong this Marine Angemon is. Because, again, I've had, going back to back from files, like literally playing it at the same time, um, it's kind of difficult <laughs> um, to keep track of what I did and what. Um, but I think we're good here. So this unlocks Garudamon, and then I don't know if I did Matt's initial fight, um, but if I didn't, we will shortly do his. Yes, okay, so I'm going to trash Garudamon. Oh, I can't use the speed up though. I've been abusing the hell out of the speed up command on the emulator. I don't know why it doesn't work when I'm, I'm recording, but you know, whatever. I'm alright with it. Um, cause I don't, I guess I shouldn't be speeding up, uh, regular, uh, gameplay. Uh, so another thing I learned in my other file is that, uh, digi memories are pretty OP. For one, um, digi memories have like a set attack strength, like, Say they're special, like for Marine Angemon does like 600 damage, you still have to go through that like strength test thing. Um, and it still will probably only hit one or two if they're like lined up. Digi memories, you don't have to do anything, they go off immediately, like you don't even have to wait for your partner to do it. Um, and if you do them, it automatically hits every single person too. So, uh, definitely use your when your digi like when Marine Angemon turns into a digi memory, I will definitely. Uh, be abusing the shit out of that. I, the whole reason I checked my mail was to see what I was supposed to be doing. Waiting at the sewer maze, fluorescence cave. All right. Well, we'll go to those. Um, there's one thing I didn't do in my own file. Just I, I haven't gotten around to it. Is in the sewer maze. There's a thing that you need to turn into. A, uh, what's his face? Uh, you need to turn into a Sukramon for. Uh, to get one of the Digimon, and I did not do that in my own file, because I didn't know you could turn into one at will. Alright, if this is Matt, then I'll quickly go back and do him. Thanks for earlier, it's not. Did you, did you try and go back and swing at things? Yes. Bergemon card, sweet. Okay. Um. Right. Hmm. Oh, no, you know what? We're going to go to a Fluorescent's Cave first. Uh, I'm glad I thought of that. Because there's something that you need 700 attack, or it's like 600 to 700 offense. So I might as well do it while I have it. Because um, I feel like Marine Angemon is on their way out. This one is Matt. Ah, there it is. No, it's not. Uh, I'm sorry for a sudden request. I emailed you because I heard you're an excellent tamer. Could you please fight with my Guillemon? I want to get stronger. I'll be waiting at 24. Coliseum. I will get to that soon. Not now. We can't just stay in the Coliseum all the, the whole, you know, let's play. Uh, as much fun as it is. Um, do I have? I've got a good amount of meat. Alright, but I definitely have too many items right now. Um, recovery and uh, regen floppy aren't super necessary. I could probably put these away too, and the fish. I guess when I eat, I can put the fish away. I should definitely have put the mysterious Digicore away though. Um, oh, I hate this. I hate the minutia. Like, I love minutia in this kind of game, like, doing everything perfectly so that you get, like, the perfect Digimon and stuff like that. At the same time, I hate stuff like inventory space. Um, it really bothers me that there's no Digimon that increases your inventory space, since that was, like, such a big thing of Digimon World 1, was finding Nanimon to, or Nanimon, however you say his name, to get him to, uh, increase it. Alright. Deposit items. Do, 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 do. Later. Don't need you now. Don't need you now. I also thought it was funny when I went to do my own file. Don't need you now. Um, it turns out I didn't have. Um, I'm trying to think of words. 
I didn't do the second set of passwords. Um, I only did the first set, which shows you how long it was since I played it. Um, I played all this week though, and I'm literally at the final boss. Um, and I lost to the final boss because I didn't have enough items and my defense was like, it was okay, but it wasn't like perfect. Final boss is pretty tough, by the way. Um, so I ended up losing. So I went to grind some money and I was like hoping, praying my Digimon wouldn't die. And then uh, it turned around 5 a.m. and I kept getting customers and they, you know, I was like, I, I can't play, I can't finish this and it bugged me. Um, I ended up selling some Digivolution items because there was some like I obviously don't need. Like there's the one for uh, getting Greymon. It's like I had a I have a Greymon in that. Uh, let's grab that while we're here. Are you hungry? You hungry? All right. Well, I'm gonna feed you some fish. Hope you enjoy it. You're a marine type, so you should. Um, what was I gonna say though? No. Um, so I came close to finishing, but I had to save and you know put it off. And I don't like doing that. Uh, but yeah, I'm mostly done in that game and it says I've been going for roughly 27 hours um, which I don't know how much pause time it counts that as like doing it like that um, I don't know what it counts for that uh, but because I'm kinda of coming to the end of that I thought I should probably explain how I'm gonna do it in this oh no yeah that's fine let's fight every single Digimon um, I'm, I think I'm going to well, I'm up. Well, that's not. I think I'm going to do a hundred prosperity run in this. As far as I know, there are no missable Digimon, so uh, we'll do that. Uh, we still got a ways to go. Uh, I just I kind of like tore through my other file. Um, I think the reason why it's taking me so long though is because I think I raised six or seven different Digimon in that one, and we're on our what second. <clears throat> Yeah, this is only the second. So when Marine Angemon goes, um, oh yeah, that's another thing. Is someone brought up? Um, they wanted me to show training from um, a baby Digimon to a rookie um, because I skipped over it the first time because I kind of went back and forth with myself whether I should show it or not um, because you know I want to minimize training as much as possible uh, unless it's for like certain purposes. But, um, they brought up a good point where they wanted to see if it takes as long as it does in Digimon World 1 or what's different from it. And, uh, so I'll show it once, uh, when Marine Angemon kicks the old bucket. Um, so off in the distance you can see Growlmont to get, oh, right, this is the worst part of the map, by the way. Oh, what's this? I don't know what that does. But look at this part of the map. How annoying is that? Like, why can't I just walk over there? Like, it's so stupid. It can't even cross from here. It just seems like a broken design. Hope and decode that's fixed. Um, so yeah, fun, fun stuff. Uh, it was like pouring rain last night. Um, and it was like a Thursday night into Friday morning. I don't understand why the fuck there were customers coming in. Like literally, they kept coming in. I was like, just go home. It's pouring rain. Why are you here? Go to sleep. I had to wait for a long time, but I'm finally reunited with my friend. I'm sorry, I kind of forgot about our promise. Well, let's start exploring the cave then. All right, later. Okay. So, um, I don't know if I talked to him in this file, but if you try and talk to Growlmon before this point, you can't get through. You have to have 15. Did you, you have to have 15 prosperity and unlocked Sukaimon. So, that's that. So he came. Let's get right to business. And first, there's something I'd like to test, if you will. Sure. This cave is functioning. It is likely it is with the other garbage data stripped to this place. Collecting, I would like to have a match. Garbage data is our key to return to reality shore. Memorial Stone, this cave is cease functioning. It is drifted to this place. I would like to have a match. Garbage data. I said sure. Okay. What is what is going on here? What test? In order to return to reality. Right. Heal bug. Stop it. Oh, yeah. I saw that comment on a couple parts ago. Rip bug. 2015 to 2015. In order to return to reality, it's necessary that the garbage data be recovered. We need your digivice to decrypt the data. I do not care for the situation. I decide my own fate. And so there's something I'd like to test. There must be a reason why you're special. See, let's proceed by collecting the garbage data from this cave as we have done before. And I should be able to figure out how to return to reality on my own. Such that we get started. And there are many hoplite Digimon here. I don't want to see you down before you've had a chance. Please do be careful. Uh, that's pretty. That's actually a pretty good uh, call. This place, I think you're supposed to go here after uh, Sewer Maze. 
so yeah, you can see Gurman over in the corner there. I will go to him, but I just want to be like triple sure that I go and break uh, the blocks here first. So I'm going to do that. Uh, I know the areas of this place, but it's you know it can be a little confusing. No, Leomon, no. Okay. Uh, so there's these two. If you uh, talk to them, so beautiful. Yeah, it's very pretty. It was definitely worth it to be brave and leave the city to come here. It really was. I could stare at this for two or three days without getting tired of it. It's mesmerizing. So, as they state, you literally have to wait two or three days before coming back to them. So, you want to talk to them as soon as possible. Um, uh, nope. Yeah. Um, oh shit, I gotta get my phone in a second. No, 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 no. Damn it. Yeah. <sighs> I will say one thing. When I'm at work, uh, I don't have headphones on. Because, why would I? That'd be a little weird. Um... So I don't get to hear every sound and all the music in the background when I play. Like, I can kind of hear them, but, like, the store's pretty loud, and I don't want to put the volume up too high for when someone comes in. Uh, I love this game's sounds, and I love, I, like, look forward to playing Let's Play so I can, like, hear them and stuff like that. Is that weird? It's a little weird. Um, alright, so there's the toilet, if you need it. Uh, it's a circus tent. I don't know why. Uh, okay. So there are three areas you can go here. Oh, wow. That's a freebie. Uh, that one will loop around and you'll go back to the entrance. Uh, this one leads to one or two Digimon. It's not that Garjmon. He's an enemy. All right, get out of here. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll come back here. Um, so, as you probably guessed, you want to head straight for the middle. Um, that's where most of the stuff happens here. All right. There's a uh, got him on. Nope. All right, so ah, uh, no. how far am I? And how many portable potties do I have? Ten. Fuck it, right? I don't care. Not worth it. Oh god, I can't skip through this. <laughs> okay, let's talk to Leomon. Look at this mountain of rubble. There's no way to get through here. That's a problem. Can't you move it? I've tried it, but no matter how I push, it won't budge. It's the only thing to do is give up. <laughs> I, I wish there was an option. Well, I guess so. I'll just have to move it then. You? I don't think that's a good idea. Even I couldn't move the rubble. I'll do it. I just love the dissonance where it's a marine Angemon, like the little fairy Digimon, doing the one like lifting Kudamon up and blasting through rubble. Anyway, path the rival wasteland is open. Let's all right. Well then, so that's what I wanted to do. I'll uh, I'll round up the rest of the Digimon in this area now. One thing though, uh, you kind of want to go forward and just talk to him again to confirm. Oh, it's you. I got what I needed. This desert is a strange place. It looks like various images of the digital world and your world are merged here, and lots of things wash up in the sands here. Anyway, since there's a Luna supply, these things will deliver in the city, so if you have time, please make sure to stop in my shop. So that upgrades the item shop, uh, which is pretty neat. Um, they get different items occasionally, but they get the staples now, so you got like large recoveries, medium, uh, large MP recoveries, and stuff, stuff like that. Alright, Sunflowmon, you gotta talk to. I think, obviously, I don't think he shows up until, uh, Leomon's gone. I'm sure it's missing the sunlight. Hey, why don't you try and expose this bud to some sunlight? How? I'll put it in a pot, and you can bud and pot. Get it? Huh? And you can take it to a place where the sun shines, and you have to do it for maybe three hours. That should be enough. I take care of my other plants here, so my hands are full. Got it. So, um, I don't know exactly how this works. Um, I don't think you have to go, like, honestly, don't go and, like, sit outside with it, because that'd be kind of dumb. Um, but, you know, just in, except in your inventory, eventually you'll get a message saying the bud flowered, or that it bloomed, and uh, you'll be good from there. Alright, I'm going to grab my phone for this next one. Alright, I gotta look up a guide on this one. Because there's a lot of, um, it's like Palmon, there's a lot of ones where it's like, oh, we need directions. It's like, well, I don't want to give you directions. That sounds really tedious. And they're like, we don't really care. Damn it. Um, I'll run one. 
Xbox One. I have a bunch of tabs open on my phone. Um, I have one for uh, the recruitment Digimon. I have one for Digivolution Guide, which is pretty good. Um, I recommend it, the GameFAQs one. <sighs> Bergemon, Gurumon, Leomon, Wanyamon, Gomon, Palmon, Poyomon, Marimon, Goberimon, Gurumon, Leomon, Gurumon, Kobaterimon, Demi Devimon, Bergemon, Mega Siegemon, Beomon, talk to it, and he was even. Oh, wait, hold on. Um, okay, wait, hold on. Okay, I had. I remember them having trouble with the Bergemon one in this thread. Oh, here it is. Okay. So, uh, the order. Why am I hearing static now? That's weird. Stop it. Okay, one sec. That was weird. I don't like it. Okay. Um, so talk to Piomon. Definitely Beomon, but whatever. Uh, it's so dark I can't see a thing. I can't find my, the way home. Are you lost? Yeah, I have night blindness. <laughs> it's not because of my bird brain. I just can't see anything. Hey, you came from the outside. That means you can tell me how to get back to the city. I could. Um, Alright, so. Which way should I go from here? It's two... Two, three, two. Okay. You'll know if you got it because it'll have the message right there. All right, sweet. I don't remember what PMON does. Um, that's Sunflowmon. I guess I have gone the wrong way. All right, so you go back here. I think you do have to go all the way to the right first, but that recruits those Digimon. Uh, pick that up. Wow. I really was super lazy with the bathroom on that one. I really shouldn't have wasted it. Alright, so you want to go directly to the right. Check the map. Wow, there's this area that goes all the way over here. I wonder if there's anything important over here. Oh, we have light shining in too? Probably nothing. Alright. Go on in. And we got the battle. So you're late. We'll be the one to get this garbage data. You're being the only one who can deal with the garbage data situation. I do not care for... Um, since I have more complete knowledge of the situation, it should be me. You have a complex. I'm sure we'll deal with that in due time. I love this. This is one of my favorite entrances, though, of uh, Boss Digimon. Is it possible? Vidium? <laughs> hey, hey, say, do I look the kind of Digimon who would attack you guys? You do. Aha, I do. Ding dong. Right on. That's right. That's exactly the kind of Digimon I am. Video over here, I'd definitely wipe it out, but it's only this guy I had disappointing. Nick, let's have a competition so you can finish him off first. Alright, so Monzamon is actually kind of tough, so uh, be careful. And if you can, use a ranged attack, because I think he'll mostly target Black or Greymon. So, uh, you know, let him fight it out. Have I really, really, uh, have I really done so little battles that I don't have a special charged? I'm disappointed in myself. Um, okay. Oh. <sighs> You know, I thought that battling with someone, like, having, like, someone else battle with you, like, we'd, we've done a couple times with, um, Akihio and her, uh, Piyomon. I thought it wouldn't be that fun, but I gotta be honest, you, you kind of like it after a while. Um, the other thing is, I like when they use their special on the other Digimon and not me. That is super fun. So I guess this Monzumon isn't that tough, or maybe it's just because I don't he's not attacking me. I'm getting I'm getting off pretty easy here. Um It's just taking a while, that's all. Uh but again, as I recommend with every boss fight, you should go in with a full special charge. It'll make things immensely easier for you. No, get away from me. Just a pretty pretty thing. When did I get the Santa hats? Um Alright, I wrote I made notes somewhere. Not things to talk about, but something important. Did I not save this? Oh, God, really? Oh, I didn't save the note. I can't believe I have to save it. That's so stupid. Alright. Well, I remember most of them. Okay. I thought it'd be a joke, but he actually put up a fight. Memorial Stella achieved. Ooh. 
Oh, this is that strange feeling. It's gone. The more I thought it covered as well. You weren't bad, guys. All right, later. It's been fun. Ooh, such a strange guy, isn't he? All right, now let's have this monologue about how you're better than me. I suspected drifting garbage data stopped with Marcella functioning here as well. God, it's like a real Digimon episode. They explain things you just found out like 10 minutes ago. You obtained garbage data 06. You've got mail. So many memories. So many words flow into me. What is this place? Someone told me this is the digital world. This is the real world. This is that which is in between. That's just kind of how I imagine he sounds. As usual, a message we don't really understand. This garbage, we both have the right to keep it. True. I have learned about your abilities. At least it seems like it's sensible to cooperate with you. I have finished my evaluation. Seems working with you has some value. As a matter of fact, my father is the head of the Geigo Company. What? No way. I, I, I knew that. Which makes the Geigo Company's successor, and therefore I cannot work with individuals of unknown background. Well, he passed my test. The next one is Nico. I'll have to tell him the story as well. Because his father's failure, the trust in Geigo has been damaged. I'll make this fact clear. After this, let's meet at Gigi Mon's house. Please gather everyone there, especially that woman Mary. seems to be difficult to get a hold of. Well, see you in Gigi Mon's house. So now we got to do the sewer maze, but wow, interesting developments. Interesting developments. I'm going to hold off on getting Monzaemon because he's uh, his recruitment is pretty cool. He opens up a shop, but uh, more importantly, he, um, he w when you recruit him, he instantly raises your brain's offense or defense, not all of them, just one, uh, by a hundred, and that's pretty neat, but I'd rather do it with a different Digimon. Oh, I don't know. What is... What is Marine Edge want? If I'm going to use him in the Coliseum, I guess that could be helpful. Um... But I don't know. You know what? I haven't found Bakumon in my uh, file. That's kind of weird. Um, yeah, I don't know, though. I'm going to keep looking. Uh, I think my prosperity in mine is like uh, something weird, like 100. No, it's not something weird. Like, I'm sorry. It's like 80 or something. So I'm like, I'm decently close. But not, you know, not super there. I don't know which to you. What does the Digipine do? I never even looked at it. So increase the training effect for all stats. Oh, that's pretty neat. I'll save that. Define chestnuts. Good. Let's go with sirloin. Sirloins. And then giant meat. This should be on. <laughs> all right. Um, I'm lost. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. No. Yes, maybe. Okay. All right. So just gonna go right. We're gonna do. We're going to go uh, do Gururumon <clears throat> while I'm remembering. And I believe that is all I choose to get at this point in time. Um, keep running over here. Gururumon sucks, though. Uh, I'm not good at this, so... you know anything about explosives? For some reason, there are a lot of bombs lying around here. Apparently, humans use them for mining, but they seem they're dangerous. They shouldn't be here. Do you have any advice on what to do? Use them for training, of course. You haven't put much thought into this, have you? <laughs> These bombs are way more powerful than the ones in the city gym. Do you still want to use them to train? Yeah, I'll do it. Why not? See, well, I guess I can't stop you. Let's uh, let's see if you can do it. All right. So to get this, you literally have to do the training uh, thing, which I shouldn't do while talking. Ah, damn it! It was so close. Um, I don't like doing this. This is why I waited for this because I know this is what's gonna kill my marine Angemon. Oh, if you change your mind, do it again. Yeah, sleep. Got it. Super. Um, I'm not good at this one. I I did the log one immediately. I did the defense one the first time. Uh, I don't think I even... You don't even have to do the neon one. I don't know what that one does. Um, it must be brains. Uh, Alright, so I'm going to have to save here. Alright. Don't, don't die on me. Okay. Uh, no. See, this time the bathroom is actually far. I'm going to rinse right through those portable potties they gave me from the password. I just realized it has a duck on it. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Alright, let's do this again. Oh, God, let's go through this. Uh, I'll do it. Okay. Give me an easy one. Damn it, I always do it. Just stay in the middle. Okay. Okay. 
too much pressure. Yes. You have no idea how many times that took me in the other one. Like, I can do the speed one sometimes, but for some reason I was just completely just not doing this one. Oh, you know what? Hmm. I am going to go get Monzaemon because I just realized what one of the things he sells in his shop. Okay, that's definitely important. Alright, so you unlock Gururumon, not Garurumon. I like how they can't include, like, Renamon in this game or Terriamon, but they've got two different fucking Gururumons. That's just lazy. They just use the same character model. I don't even think they're different colors in this one. Um, Alright. Uh, this way. Leave me alone. Okay. Oh boy. Um, I don't remember what Piyomon does. It's really bugging me. I don't know if she does nothing or if it's just... I thought she did something. There's Memorial Stellos. Just run this way. Um... Yeah, so Monzaemon opens up a shop. Uh, so does Growlmon, weirdly enough. But Growlmon unlocks one that resells different, like rare vegetables and fruits. Monzaemon um, will open like a special item shop, and there's something very important that he sells that we're gonna have to pick up immediately. Hmm, that's weird. This is my home, but the gate is locked. Oh, you're the guy from before. It's because of you that I'm back to normal. Thank you. Since I can't get inside my house, maybe I should go back to the city. She was so kind. I'd like to do something to repay you. I'll grant you a wish. What would you like? Stronger muscles for offense, robust body for defense, faster movement for speed, and greater wisdom for brains. Since I've already got strong muscles, I'm going to make them stronger. All right, you got it. Yeah. <laughs> Done. I cast a spell on you. I'm going back to the city. And I hope we'll meet you again. Alright, um, oh, right, I guess you unlock Monzaemon too. That's pretty important, because, uh, that way if you get a new Mon, it's not useless. So you can see offense went up to 816. Got Garumon. Got that. Alright, since I'm not going any further, I'm just gonna use an autopilot. <sighs> Alright. So, let's go get the meat for the day. I don't know, well, I think because... Uh, Monzaemon and Graumon have their shop in the same place, but I think because I haven't unlocked Graumon yet, Monzaemon should always spawn there, but I'm not 100% sure if it works that way. Um, alright, I'm just gonna go to this next area, see if I can get the mail from Monzaemon. There we go. Um, let's check our mail. I'm literally checking mail in a Let's Play. Let's help. Heard from Sukaimon. That's weird that I got this one. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. I heard from Sukaimon. So you're the guy who woke up Sukaimon when he was sleeping on the bus. I'm sorry, my friend imposed on you a time like that. You can fall asleep anywhere. Laid back attitude. This can be a lifesaver at times. So I've included a card for your troubles. So go ahead and dig it. Gromon. That's kind of weird. Is that his name in this? Um, more items for sale. Thank you. Piemon's restaurant open. Oh, they go to the restaurant. Um... I, mean, I use rare ingredients for my dishes, unlike Marimons, you can have a taste. Here's an item, my way of saying thanks. Strength fruit, I'm going to store that. Bomb training. So, uh, I think this is the first training gadget I've unlocked. So, it works much the same way it did in Digimon World 1, where the ones outside the city are better for you, but they're pretty out of the way, so I just don't you really use them. I find them to be more trouble than they're worth. Um... And that is all. I did not get the email from Monzaemon. I'm going to check anyway. So this is where his store is when he unlocks it. There he is. Alright. Uh, never mind. This isn't going to work. I don't have enough money yet. Okay, i got to go sell some stuff. Uh, I might sell a Digivolution item. Uh, like, I might sell Greymons. Um, all, every, oh, that's something I should mention. Every Digivolution item is worth 10000 Um So... If there's one that you really don't need, or if it's for a Digimon you already have, because I can understand if you want to get every single Digimon, like complete the evolution line, but um, beyond that, it's just kind of eh. So, all right. First, I want to deposit some. Let's. I'll need the Digipine soon, but we'll deposit the Strength Fruit. And that's more or less it. How many free spaces do I have? Six. That's not bad. Alright. <clears throat> I need a drink of water. Mm. 
Okay. I remembered something. Um, so that 24 hour stream, that's not a 24 hour stream at all. Um, like immediately I said, no, I'm not doing that. Um, you got mail. I think that one's from Monzuma. I meant actually accidentally went to the wrong place. Um, I said I would go from like either noon until like midnight or until like I beat the game or whatever. Um, a couple things. I haven't decided if by beat the game I mean 100% prosperity or if I just mean um, just beating the game normally and just kind of pick up as many Digimon on the way as I can. Um, I like how I went there and then didn't pick the item up. Um, I don't know which I'm going to do about that. But more importantly than that, um, oh, I can't believe I'm saying this. Um, that Tuesday happens to be the first day um, Alexander Savage comes out for Heaven's Ward, which, um, which sounds like a bunch of gibberish. Um, the reason I'm not moving is because I have my hands over my eyes. Like I can't believe I'm about to say this. Um, so it's a it's a new raid in um, Final Fantasy, and I have made a commitment to be there at eight o'clock. So the stream will probably be from like noon to 7.30. That's still a very solid chunk. It's just not as much as I'd like to do it. So if I don't get much done, I might just instead, um, uh, what was I gonna say? Instead, I might, I don't know, finish the stream on a different day. So I'll like have two giant streams. I don't know when that second day would be. I don't know if I'll even need to do the second day. Just wanna throw that out there. Um, I just, you know, I want to be on the up and up. I don't want it to come as a surprise. And that is the 21st. That is 11 days from now. Um, so noon Eastern time on the 21st, a Tuesday. Uh, a lot of you guys have said comments that you're like looking forward to it. Thank you. I'm excited. Um, I honestly can't wait to do it just because that game is so second nature to me. Like I could play that game in my sleep um, just from having it, doing after doing a Let's Play so like thorough. Oh, it's you. Thanks for your help. Did my magic have any effect? Well, let's get down to business. Comma, business. That's weird. Alright. So, he sells some interesting things. Happy Mushroom. Uh, no one knows what happens. I... There's one... There's a Coliseum reward or something like that. Uh, no, it's uh, one of the Digimon you recruit. Gives you like five of these. I just threw them in um, my... In the storage. I was like, I don't want to test what you do. So we have the enemy bell, a device that sends an enemy attracting signal possessing the opposite item will negate this effect. I believe that makes it so every enemy is attracted to you. And then we have the training manual. A method for an efficient training has been written in this manual. Works already by only possessing it. So we're going to buy that immediately and then never look back. Um, that is super important and I can't believe I didn't unlock that as soon as I could in my other file. Because um, I just I just didn't know where Monzemon was. So. There you have it. So we're gonna run quickly to the Coliseum to uh it's weird that I have so many mail, I should only have one. Ah, here it is. Yamato. <clears throat> yeah, I heard you be Tai Chi and sorry. Sora. Wanna try battling me too, just so we're clear, I won't hold back like they did. They didn't hold back. Up in a new shop. Thank you. Um I wanna go to the Coliseum real quick to register Marine Angemon with her super improved attack. Um just because that'll be helpful down the line in case I don't get a Digimon as strong as quickly. That hasn't really been a problem. Every Digimon I've raised in my other file, every new one is always stronger than the last, so I'm not crazy worried that that'll come up, but it's good to be prepared anyway. Just because, like, I just, I can't bring myself to use, uh, Galgamon, or Mirage Galgamon, or Phoenixmon. Uh, it just doesn't feel right to me. Oh, hold on. Okay. Now, I also just want to compare this real quick. Much, much stronger in literally every way than uh, Metal Guru Mon, so I'm pretty impressed about or Metal Guru Mon, Metal Grey Mon. So that's good. Um, what was I going to do? 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 Right. So now we're going to uh, the sewer maze, which will be fun. Won't be fun. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh, right. So, um... I came because this is a thing with streams, from what I can tell. Um, I still want to get Spencer to help me out um, and sort me through him because I feel like he'd know these better. Um, and he kind of, he did some when he um, what did his 24-hour stream for Extra Life. And uh, basically, if you're not really familiar with streaming, which I'm not really either, so we're kind of in the same boat. 
Um, stretch goals are like, you know, if we hit this amount of donations, then we'll do this. Um, I don't, I don't really like the idea of incentivizing donations. I think it should just be like, if you, you know, if you feel like donating, donate, you know, don't feel compelled to. But at the same time, I like the idea, let me put it this way. I don't like the idea of incentivizing donations myself. Like, I don't like the idea of kind of like being like, well, if you donate me to me, this might happen. But as a viewer, I kind of like the idea. This is such a convoluted thing. It should totally be backwards, but it, this is how I feel. As a viewer, I feel like stretch goals and like, if you hit this much, then we unlock this, and then we unlock this, and then we unlock this. I like that. Like, I like that mentality. So it's a really weird um, middle ground of it. I need to go to the swamp. Uh, I need to run through there. I don't think it's been a couple days. Oh, that's the other thing. is uh, A couple people in the comments talked about uh, Gobrimon and how you don't have to... Oh, happy mushroom. Just speak of the devil. Um, a couple people talked about how you don't have to actually pick up all the rocks for him, so I'm going to go do that. Uh, I thought I tried running past him before, and it did not work, so let's see. Also, I don't know if Bergemon's ready. I don't think it's been that long. Um, so I'm not going to push the issue. Uh, I'll, you know what? I'll check on him, see if he's ready. If not, you know, no skin off my back. We'll come back. Uh, I had to come back for a couple other things anyway. I think we got Gautamon, though, right? Yeah, we did. Um, right, so I I was thinking of some stretch goals. I just, I just even talking about it feels weird. Um, and I think I have some good ideas. Uh, by the way, the sewer maze is over that way, so we'll go there in a sec. Uh, I just want to get those other two first. Um, so, oh man, this was so much better when I had a list in front of me. Uh, actually, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to list off the stretch goals at the end of the video, because then I'll be able to get my thoughts in order. I won't have to, and like I can list them in like a reasonable... I don't know, can I do it now? It's not that hard. I'm just kind of... So trying to organize my thoughts while playing the game. It doesn't usually work out. I just realized this area is called a dragon rib, and that is super metal. Um, no, no, no. All right. So here we are. I don't know. Yeah. I was gonna say I don't know if you can turn into Sunflowermon, but I think you can. I don't know if you can turn into Togemon, but I think you can too. I don't know why, but in both Digimon worlds. I never really have experience with that side. Like, I never really get to plant Digimon or, like, Beomon and stuff like that. I always end up with the dragon kind or even the beast kind some kind sometimes. Uh, just because I, I tend to like them more. But is this more stringy grass? Super veggie. All right, that's good, too. Uh, so we should be able to get two Digimon here um, if I'm going where I think I'm going. Unless this is Bergemon's little hangout. It's not. Okay. So like I said, you need to pick up these rocks to get him, or alternatively, you can just run past him. I did not know you could run past him, and I'll show you why. <clears throat> so, um, run past him right here. And then he talks to you like this. You see the stones around the edge of the swamp, go get some, and the sink right at the bottom. You can use them to fill the sinkhole. You get across, you have to gather rocks first. So yeah, he teleports you back, so I just figured, um, you know, it's not possible. And now I'm starting to wonder if it is. I think you people lied to me. Unless I have to go like a certain way around. Hang on. Okay, maybe... Alright. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to gather them. I'm going to gather all the ones in this area right now. Maybe you only have to do it like... Once is what they meant that you don't have to get because clearly I can't pass him um, maybe I just had like a slightly wrong idea of what that meant uh, if not then again we'll come back when we get Bergemon it won't be a problem um, okay so now that I've gotten all the pebbles here and let's see if we can get this asshole I mean unless no it's a bottleneck I wasn't sure if you like walk around him that's too bad there wasn't enough I guess you'll have to bring more stones that wasn't enough. Nope, not yet. It's really deep. Hmm, maybe eight more would do it. You'll have to keep at it, I guess. You're kidding. Well, wait. Calm down. I'll take my chances. Wow, stop. Okay, I get it. That's really cool. I like that much better. I never actually, uh... 
Oops, guess I'm busted. Yep, it's not really a bottomless swamp. I've been scaring and teasing the people who came this way for fun. I'm sorry, forgive me. To make it up to you, I'll go back to the city and quit making trouble. See ya. <sighs> you son of a bitch. Alright. So, quickly leave the area and then come back. Um, quickly, I said. Here's Night Canyon. We'll come back there. Damn it, really? Again, I'm just so far. It's just, it's just easier just to do this. Ah. <sighs> I'll tell you the biggest reason why. When I had the speed up, I'd be able to like quickly run to the bathroom, um, so it wasn't as big an issue. But like now, I just I, I can't be bothered. So if you look to the right, you will see Pico Devamon, uh, or Demi Devamon, whatever you want to call him. I'm actually okay calling him Pico Devamon because I kind of like that that name. You know what this is? It's a log. You got it. It's a great log. <laughs> It's big, it's heavy, it's wood, it's better than, it's not better than bad, it's good. Since you're such a great tamer, I wonder if you can crush this in one hit. Come on, I gotta see, show me what you got. Alright. This I'm actually, I'm, this is probably the only training thing I'm actually pretty good at. Um, I can do the defense one pretty good. I can't do the advanced defense, but I can do the advanced log thing too. So that's easy. I really did it, not bad, not bad at all. I used to have fun, see when people fail, so now I'm kind of disappointed. Well, tired of it anyway, I wonder if I should go back to the city. But this brat with glasses, he came by the other day, it was a real piece of work. He was shouting things like, I'm counting on you, Sasha, and stuff. Oh, well, I guess we'll meet in the city, see. That doesn't make any sense to me. Like, he starts to talk about Nico, and then just kind of trails off. So that's those two. Um, I'm not going to check on Bergemon. I'm just going to run the sewer maze. We're already at 47 minutes in. Oh, I tell you. Male. Well, that one's probably Gobrimon. Um, okay, I do have some preliminary ideas for stretch goals and I kind of wanted to keep them a surprise um, because uh, shit I don't know which of these is a, a multi-attack I'm just kind of hoping for the best at this point um, but I'm not really doing anything so I might as well uh, I had a couple ideas like some I don't know the dollar amounts that I'd put next to them but I just kind of like know like the different stages of like what I would do. So a couple ideas I thought I thought of some Digimon related ones. Um, one of them would be I promise to finish Digimon World Four if we hit this, because for now Digimon World Four was filler. Um, and but you know I will finish it if we reach this. Uh, I'll, I'll probably finish it anyway. Um, but the reason I want to do that kind of stretch goal is because then something like double it so like let's say it was ten dollars then i'll be like if i hit twenty dollars i'll do a full playthrough of digimon world 4 on hard and then if we hit 40 i'll do very hard again i think those numbers are a little too fucking low for something like that but that's the kind of ideas i'm thinking of of like stri basically the goals would be uh two or three more days okay uh the goals i'm setting here would be Basically, let's plays I would do in the future are going to be ma a majority of them, um, and then I I don't I can't really think of anything else I could really offer, so that'll pretty much be it. It's just me contracting with you guys to like you know promise let's plays I'll do, because for the most part you know my ske my schedule with let's plays kind of lucid. Like I'll do fluid, not lucid. Uh, you know I'll change it around depending on what people are you know, into or what I feel like playing, but I want to make, you know, promises to you guys. Another one I thought of, if we reach a certain goal, then I will do one Let's Play of Digimon Masters, and then if we reach a goal ten times higher than that, I will play Digimon Masters to the level cap, like I'll keep doing Let's Plays in it until we get to the very end of it, and hate myself along the way. <laughs> um, I don't know, because you guys seem to like those kind of videos. Um, not, I'm not calling you masochists. Um, but you seem to like the kind of videos where it's just like, I know what the developers are trying to do, and it's just not that fun for me. I'm just like, ugh, and just not having it. Uh, as with Digimon World 4. That's why it was so successful. Hooray. Um, so that's one. Uh, two non-Digimon related ones, or three non-Digimon related ones. One of them I don't even want to say, but... I'm gonna because I want to get people hyped. Um, one is I'll do uh, if I hit a certain goal, 
Again, I don't have the numbers worked out. That's why I want to talk with Spencer. He's good about like setting reasonable goals like that. Um, if I hit a certain um, goal, then I'll do a full playthrough of Final Fantasy X. Uh, if I hit a different goal, I'll do a full playthrough of Okami. Um, and then this one, and this is an idea. I don't know if I've ever mentioned it. I don't think I did because I think I'm still. I was still keeping it a secret. Um, hold on, let's talk to Mirai. If I'm even saying your name right. Ah, you're here. Something for you here. Something I'm looking for. I'd like your help with the search. What do you say? What are you looking for? Another human here. A person you haven't met yet. That person's response came from here. That's all I can tell you for now. Why me? Your Digivice's characteristics, your strength, your mind. Taking all of these into account, the person that triggered the response is probably going to the memorial cell. I don't know exactly what this person's goal is, but we mustn't fall behind. Let's head to the memorial cell as well. Sweet. Alright, so there you go, that way. And this way is dead end. What is over here? It's a fishing spot. I'm gonna fish a little bit. No, I don't want no bait. I didn't know you can catch anything with no bait. That's kind of awesome. Um, Digi Snapper. Let's change. Let's just do meat. Okay. I promise there's a reason I'm doing this, but I don't know uh, if it's just a rumor I heard online or not, so I want to just do it a little bit longer. Actually, this is probably a terrible time to do this. Okay, basically, one of the comments I read online was that they were fishing and an Angewomon came up and talked to them. And they weren't sure if that had something to do with the city. Supposedly, Angewomon will say something to you if she catches you fishing. I don't know if that's true or not. Alright, this is what I was afraid of. If I sleep here, I'm probably going to get sick. Ah, oh, my temple is throbbing because it means I have to do something really, really annoying. Okay. So, I'm gonna use an autopilot. This is I'm. This is for your benefit, because you cannot let your Digimon get sick because it decreases their lifespan. So, if they're gonna sleep in a somewhere weird, I heard that you can't sleep in a swamp or the sewer. So, here we are. Great, super, so glad. No, no. Ah. Damn it. Okay. Alright. Not that it matters if he got sick. It's power left. It's Digicore, your new partner can inherit some of the form. So register, yes. Alright. So this one should be better than a Metal Greymon. Yes. <sighs> Fucking bullshit. Okay. Should transfer some of your power? Yes. Um, so the, basically the way that works is that when you choose a new digi egg, it'll retain, um, 1%, no, yes, 1% of the stats of your previous Digimon, um, for every one of your Tamer ranks. So if your Tamer rank is 0, I believe it's 1% of their stats, and then if it goes to 1, it's 2%, if it's 3, no, if it goes to 1, it's 2%, if it goes to 2, it's 3%, and so on, until you get to the max rank, which is 10, and you get 11% of the stats when they die. Alright, so to make things interesting, I'm just going to do this, and I'm going to look away, and then I'm going to pick. Is this a Jake you want to pick? I'm not reading, I'm just assuming. I'm going to say, oh uh, yeah, why not? Not that I actually want to do this. Isn't this the one I got last time, actually? I don't remember. No, nope, they don't do the egg motion. That's kind of annoying. Alright. So, I guess I'm showing training in this. 
Man, what a shitty end away this part. What a shitty way to end this part. No. Yeah, that is right. Why did I think that wasn't English? <sighs> I did not want to do this right now. Alright. So, to train and then train Digimon is very much the same way. Nightflower, but it's changing to Nightflower. Okay, so, see that one? That's, um, that means we can go back to Sunflower Mon. Uh, we'll go back to Sunflower Mon once it's been a couple days. So basically, this is actually a good time to change because by the time I raise another strong Digimon, um, I'll be ready to, um, oh, it's a new day, I should go get meat. Uh, by the time, actually, mm, they probably have to rest a lot. I'm basically choosing which gym I want to use. Uh, recently I've really been using the gym um, in the Coliseum more because it's got the bathroom right there and that saves a lot of time. You basically only have to leave once a day to uh, make sure to rest so you don't accidentally over fatigue your Digimon. Uh, you know, basically once a day to rest and go grab meat. I believe it's faster, like in my personal opinion I think it's more efficient to train there than it is to train here because you have to constantly leave for the bathroom uh, and I, that really adds up I think but since this is an in-training or since this is a baby Digimon I really can't you know run it through the gauntlet that much um, just in general uh, I like doing this training more just because I can get a good stat pretty quickly um, getting to champion is super easy in this game for most Digimon, you only need to have certain stats at 80, and you can easily get all of their stats at 80, um, so it's not nothing to worry about. Um, you should like it, It's very hard to. Oh wow, I really went early on that one. It's really hard to get a new one uh, in this game, but I've still heard people getting it. I just kind of figure those people don't really know um, how to play. So as you can see, he does not like training. Um, it's really throwing his happiness down. Um, but to be honest, it doesn't really matter. Um, he'll rebound from it pretty quickly. Um, and right now it'll also increase the discipline. I don't know if failing um, the training affects that. I don't think so. As far as I can tell, failing um, training does not count as a mistake. It just kind of happens and you get less stats for it. Um, so, you know, just kind of go nuts. Alright. Okay. <sighs> it's not that I, this part is boring me. Um, it's just that I'm legitimately just tired. Um, I had to work again tonight. I worked the last two nights. I wanted to make sure I made a Digimon part. Alright, it's Budmon. Budmon. 420 blaze it. Alright. Um... I should use the Digipine. I'll wait until he turns into a rookie. Um, if you're wondering the reason I'm not using any of the, um, actually, I'll use these. If you're wondering any of the reason or why I'm not using, um, it's kind of weird. Uh, why I'm not using the, um, what do you call them? Uh, HP chips. I want to wait until my until the very last moment to use those. So like the very last Digimon before we beat the game, because that's when you really need all the help you can get raising a strong Digimon. For now, you know, we're more or less okay. So whatever we get is fine. I can work with whatever I get. Um, and I guess just move on to Brains. Yep, still still glitched. I, uh, I have no idea how to fix it. But, uh, to be fair, still haven't looked up to how to fix it. I think that Tenacious Trainer is for... Uh, training uh I want to say a hundred times but that seems wrong all uh, right keep going need more Wawa oh right stretch goals I didn't I don't think I listed all of them. um so yeah Digimon Masters is up in the air Digimon World 4 I'm not gonna put a Digimon World Data Squad in there because I know eventually I will play that game because uh, of the remaining Digimon games I haven't played and that I have access to, that one kind of bothers me the least. Uh, so I will play it. Just so I'm not gonna you know make a stretch goal for it because it doesn't matter. Um, I meant to rest. I guess I'll go here instead. Um, I wanted to point out the difference between uh, the clinic and resting at Digimon's house because I did finally figure it out. 
This one will increase, will decrease your fatigue a lot more. Um, but the one at Gigi Mon's house will act, will restore your HP and MP. So if you're um, coming back from like a battle or something, be sure to rest at Gigi Mon's house. But if you're just training, I think Angemon works a little bit better. <sighs> so tired. Okay, go back to brains. I don't know what rookie I'm gonna get. But I'm excited. No, not really. I don't I don't really like this line of Digimon, so I don't think it's gonna be that great. I'm not excited for it. I don't know if I should use the Digipine or not. I don't think so. Because I think um they get a bigger or the boost is more effective when they're a rookie. Training uh I don't have a stroke. Okay, it shouldn't be that long. Probably when they wake up after a little bit of sleeping. Uh, just be safe. You should kind of every time they have to go to the bathroom is when you should rest. So just keep that in mind. Um, if you go by that method, then resting at Gigi One's house shouldn't be a problem. Um, I just feel like when you're doing more rigorous training, like when you're training like eight times in a row, it's probably better to go to Angemon's, but if it's like four, five, you should, Gigimon's is fine. It still does reduce your uh, fatigue. <sighs> I can't tell if my audio is coming across right Yeah, It looks okay. Just judging by the sound waves, it doesn't look like it's increasing that much. It looks like I'm going to have to do a lot of editing, and that's not fun. Okay, so rest. That was weird. I had that weird moment where I was like, why is Budmon over there? Okay. Oh, right. Accessories. Mm, I don't know why. I really like jo the Jolly Roger. Santa hat, Taiji goggles, Naruto. That looks so natural. Uh, we'll do the Taiji goggles. And then. <laughs> I don't see it. No, that doesn't. That does not look natural. I will leave you with those two. All right, you need sleep. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Um. Yeah, for now there's not much I can really do. Uh. I'm happy to show this, but this is definitely something I only want to do once. Uh, just because I don't like having to talk while doing it. Just so uninteresting. And I, and I know I'm forgetting some of the ideas that came... Oh, right, I didn't even say the big one. Like, I left you off on a weird cliffhanger. That was not my intention. I legitimately just forgot about it. So, one idea I was kicking around with Carlos for a very long time. I don't know if I ever talked about it. I think I might have. Was we had a plan uh, back when Slender was, like, a big thing um, to do a Let's Play of Slender on my laptop but we were going to bring it out in the middle of a, a forest, and we were going to do it just in the middle of the night. So, uh, let's play Slender in a forest in the middle of the night. Because to me, that's amazing. And I would watch the shit out of that. Um, and I wanted to do that. And there's something else. Oh, and I wanted to make sure that he watched every episode of Marble Hornets before we went. I couldn't watch because I'd probably be, like, co commentary Like, he'd be playing and he'd be doing most of it. To be honest, one of us has to be not scared, you know, shitless. So, I was going to watch him, but I thought it would be really funny if I had him watch every YouTube video about Slender, and then made him go, <laughs> and then made him go, you know, uh, the, uh, I can't words, and then made him go uh, play it in the middle of a forest. Originally, PJ was going to be there too, but he doesn't live near us, but uh, that was going to be my idea for the highest stretch goal. Is that if we got an if we got whatever I deemed enough, um, I wanted to finally get that emotion, and I think Carlos would hate every second of it, and that would be amazing to watch. So I really wanted to do it, but it would take a lot of prep work. So that would that's mostly why it would be the highest up, because it would take a lot of prep work and a lot of scheduling and management, because it's finding a forest in the middle of the night. Not easy. Uh, I looked into it. <laughs> uh, that, it has to be on my laptop, too. Because, wow, I'd never heard that rooster. 
Um, it would have to be uh, uh, on my laptop because it would have to be portable, obviously. So we have to like make sure we got it in like just the amount of time before the battery died. What was I gonna do? I was gonna rest. I was gonna rest. Uh, let's just go to Angemon's at this point. <clears throat> so, inch baby one takes a little bit. Baby two or in training takes um, you know, a little bit longer. Rookie takes longer than that. Um, and then uh, champion takes a while. But uh, if you're just going ham on training, it's not really a problem. So once I get to, I just kind of wanted to show how long it takes to get to rookie. Uh, Let's go here. I have more ideas for stretch goals. I just can't remember them. I gotta rewrite them down. That's a pain in the ass now. But uh, basically, the theme, quote unquote, is gonna be, um, you know, I'll set a small one, or it'll be like Digimon World 4, I'll finish, I'll do one Let's Play in Digimon Masters, and then like, double those or triple those will be like higher ones. Like I'll do multiple Digimon Masters Let's Plays. I'll level all the way to 50. Um, but those will have to be obviously higher. And it's Maramon, stays menu. See, I just don't, I don't think his menu is worth it. I think bits are too hard to come by. Um, unless you start selling off Digivolution items in which you're going to be rich. But, I, you know, part of me is a hoarder and doesn't, even though I'm not going to use them, I'm just a hoarder and don't want to give them away. Uh, right, did brains hit 100 yet? I don't remember. No, but I can just uh, get the rest through defense. I think I can do intermediate on this one. Yep, I'm decent at it. I can't do the advanced one. The timing is so crazy on that. Um, let's do it again. And I also have to be quiet when I do it. I can kind of not focus when I do the offense one, but not this one. I'm going to keep trying to talk anyway and see. Nope, see. Can't do it. Ah. Uh, Digivolve, damn it. What are you turning into? What are you turning into? What are you turning into? Wow, was not expecting that. Interesting. Oh man, that looks... No, I can't do it. That looks does not look normal. Um, I'll give you something else. Nope. Nope. Just the way everything positions on him. It looks like it's magnetized to him. That one looks kind of cool, actually. Um... Mm, nope, I'm going to leave it at that. Alright, so that's how long it takes to get to... Uh, uh, that's how long it takes to get to um, Rookie Mint Training. Not long, 10 minutes or so. Um, maybe 15. But, yeah, don't stress about it. I get ready to get my meat today. So that's the end of this part. Uh, once again, I want to thank the donators, um, John and Ty Teller. Um, both of you, thank you immensely. You cannot understand the joy it gave me. Like, I'm going to get serious for a second. It gave me, when I got my first uh, kind of payment, because this is what I don't like talking about, but I'm going to say it anyway. When I got my first payment from YouTube for monetization, uh, it felt validating. Like, you know, it was like, wow, I can't believe this many people watch to the point where I can get, you know, I can kind of get a little bit of money from YouTube, and it is, and it is a little bit. It does not come that frequently, but it's a crazy different kind of validation to have someone like that. Like even the smallest amount, I was just like, I, I couldn't believe it. Uh, like, literally, just imagine, I was just like walking up the stairs, just trying to hide a smile, so I didn't give it away before I told my dad, and I just, it was a uh, an awesome moment, and I don't think I could replicate it in anything else um, it, I know the comments and you know the oh I can't wait to see the next part have always made me felt like it's worth it to do this um, I just I never realized people really appreciated that much and that is what wow I didn't realize it showed the cardinal directions right there and that is what I'm trying to say is that thank you and you know I'm really starting to see how big an impact I can have on you guys, and it feels good. That's all. That's all I can really say. So, um, 
yeah, I guess that's the end of the part. Um, next, During the next part, I think I'll come back either when I have a Mega or a strong enough uh, ultimate. Uh, so for now, thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking with me. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, I will see you next part. Um, what's today? I don't know my schedule for next week, so I don't know when the next part will be out. But I just think... Um, Probably around Monday or Tuesday. I'm going to try and upload this as soon as I can. So it'll be out Friday night. Um, and I want to try and do more next part. I feel like we kind of got cut off a little bit. Alright. Later.